I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and here with Peter Clousey, the president and CEO of CBLT. Hey, Chris. Ticker symbol at CBLT on the TSXV. Peter, you had an interesting week with your news release on February 8th. Uh, why don't you give us an update? Yeah, we've been on the phone pretty much since 8.05 Monday morning. We announced that we we're acquiring Shatford Lake, a forgotten gem of a property. It lies in the Winnipeg River Cat Lake pegmatite field, and we think it's highly prospective for lithium. The market seems to agree. And uh, where is this uh, project located? Southeastern Manitoba, between Winnipeg and the Ontario border. And uh, what sort of historical showings does it have on it? There was drilling done in the 1950s. The whole region is highly prospective for tin, and it looks like there was a tin campaign underway. We do not have the assay results from the 50s, but we do have the field notes, which are public documents. And the field notes indicate at one point an 18-meter intercept of pegmatite. Any other uh, minerals on the project that are interesting? Not that we can report. We haven't done any work. You know, 43101 precludes us from saying anything like that. So what is the main focus then of the project? Well, this is, an, this is a bit closeology. We're next door to the Tanko mine. The Tanko mine was for a while the world's only producer of cesium. It has produced beryllium, tantalum, and lithium. And according to an Australian study done in 1991, it has 7.3 million tons of lithium at 2.79%. That's 27,000 parts per million. Now that predates 43101, so all the usual caveats apply, but it does inform our knowledge of the region and explains why we're buying Shatford Lake. There are pegmatite showings at surface, there are outcrops, and we think it's highly prospective. So CBLT was uh, previously known as a company that was focused more on gold. Are you saying you're doing a more of a switch into the battery metal space? Well, the name was changed uh, to CBLT in 2017 to reflect the move into the battery space then. So CBLT has uh, cobalt properties, copper properties, zinc, uh, some gold, being Big Duck Lake in Hemlo, silver out at McHale in British Columbia, uh, nickel, copper, cobalt at Chilton in uh, Quebec, just north of Montreal. So we are firmly ensconced in the battery space. We think we're well positioned to benefit from the Green Revolution. Uh, what are your plans then for the property for the rest of the year? Um, we have to wait till about the second week of May for the snow to melt, and then it's boots on the ground. Confirm historic mapping, map the property. We'll be following the lead of Jessica Daniel, who's our PN for this. Jessica was the field manager, manager of exploration for Rock Tech Lithium and did a lot of work improving up that deposit, which is going to be in production in the next couple of years. She's highly experienced in this area. We'll be following her lead for the field work. Now, you did a small capital raise at the end of last year. Do you think you'll require some additional funds for this project? Uh, the short answer is yes. The long answer is back in 2016, the board told me uh, the mining market is not rewarding field work, so we're not going to raise money. Go figure something out. Great. <laughs> Thanks. So we began doing M&A activity within the company, and we've done a steady stream of M&A with mining properties and a real estate company. Um, the shareholders have told us every year at the shareholder meeting, you're allowed to diversify into other industries if you want. Please go find something interesting. So we're, that's our plan for the year. Going to work Shatford, probably get back to Quebec, Get up the Sudbury to work copper prints, which is gold, copper, and cobalt in quartz veins, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah. Look for further M&A opportunities. Divest when the time is right. And if we can safely expand into other industries, we will. Well, talking about divestiture, you did close a deal uh, to sell the North Shore gold property. You want to just briefly comment on that? Sure. Uh, we bought North Shore as part of a package when nobody liked gold. We took a risk and we bought it. And we're rewarded for that risk, and our shareholders are being rewarded for that risk. We sold North Shore for $1.45 million, roughly a quarter in cash, and the rest in stock in a company now trading called Ready Set Gold. We believe we are the single largest shareholder in that company. Ready Set Gold is trading around 40 cents today. We have 1.8 million shares of that. And you're still holding those shares for now in your treasury? To help the company, we signed a voluntary escrow for one year. With a staggered release period, we ha do have the first one out of escrow. It's with our broker, but as we said in the press release, it's not our intention to sell it this time.
And from what I understand about Ready, Set, Gold, they are act actively exploring on that project for this year, correct? They're actively exploring. Because of our contacts up there, you know, we, I've been involved in that property since 2011. I got a phone call from somebody not involved with the company saying drilling was underway on the patented lands. Right. Well, that means that uh, there's potential for upside in uh, the shares that you hold. We have a lot of confidence in the management team. We have a lot of confidence in the growth strategy. We're in fairly regular communication with the representatives over there, and we do have faith in uh, capital appreciation for Ready, Set, Gold. Any uh, final comments before we sign off? The Tanko mine is fascinating. It's basically a mile-long crystal that's about 400 feet thick and about half a mile wide. And they've just been chipping away at the crystal since 1929. They've discovered over 100 minerals in the pigment in the uh, pelisite, which is just fascinating. So I'm eager to get in the field, start doing the field work, and eventually get to a drill program. Well, uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, I'm glad to get the update, and uh, I'm sure our, our viewers will uh, get uh, appreciate it as well. Uh, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel.